So you want to shoot concerts. You want to, you want to get in the photo pit. You want to shoot your all time favorite artist. You want to take photographs of them performing live. Um, how do you do that? Well, this video is going to tell you how you guys can get photo passes to some concerts that you want to shoot. Let's dive into it. What is up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about, as we stated before, five tricks and tips on how you guys can kind of get into the photo booth, get that golden ticket, which is the photo pass, to uh, shoot your favorite artist live in concert with all that energy right in front of them. They're 10 feet from you. Um, this video is kinda of gonna tell you how you can get into that position and how you can obtain these photo passes. That seems so difficult to get, when in reality, these tricks and tips are definitely going to help you get these passes. Before we get started, I wanna dive into what a photo pass actually is, because I feel like a lot of you might not even know what a photo pass is or what it can do for you. A photo pass is kind of your golden ticket into the photo pit. You see all those photographers at the beginning of shows, they're, they're in the photo pit shooting the shooting the artist. Sometimes if you fought your way to the front row, they're in your way. They're right in between you and the artist right when the artist comes out. Typical rules are if you get a photo pass, you get to shoot the first three songs and no flash photography. That's like the generic rule of thumb. There's different rules here and there um, depending on the artist and, and depending on the, the tour and the content. But at the end of the day, they're just a sticker. And these are a handful of photo passes that I've gotten over the years. Do you guys see these? These are all photo passes and photo bands from um, from shows that I've shot in the past. And yes, I have kept them all and I will never be getting rid of them. I have collected all mine throughout time. They're really cool because they kind of like give off the vibe of the tour. And for me, they're kind of like a collectible. I go back and look like, oh, I shot this show, this show, this show, and this show. And they're kind of something that I will hold on to forever because they are really cool. It's like. This represents an artist that you shot and you get to like keep this forever. Like to me, that's worth something. I'm definitely gonna hoard these forever. So as you guys can see, I have a ton of them uh, that I've hoarded throughout the last couple of years uh, while shooting concerts. So now that we got that out of the way, now you guys understand what a tour photography pass does or what a photo pass does. Um, let's dive into some tricks and tips on how you guys can actually get to shooting these shows. Cause I think that's what you guys are here for is how do we get this pass? How do I get into the photo pit? How do I get 10 feet from my favorite artist of all time to shoot photos of them? And when this list is kind I just gonna they're kind of random all over the place there's no specific order these are just some tips that I have that that might be helpful to you so let's dive right into it number one the number one tip I have for you is to be contacting your local venue or local local concert hall in your city uh, reach out to the venue that that you think has all the shows and tell them listen I want to create content for you guys to use. You guys can have all the content for free. You can you can take my content as long as I can get photo passes to these shows. So use your, your my photos for the YouTubes, the Instagrams, the Twitters, whatever it may be. You kind of give them access to this content. You show them a little bit of your work and you say, hey, I would love to just shoot shows for free. That's all I'm looking to do. And a lot of the times that's worked for so many of my friends in the music industry. So for so many photographers, I've seen that that, that method of getting into the world work, but that's how I started. That's how I started shooting shows. Uh, downtown Portland, there's a venue called The Hawthorne. And that was like the first venue that I ever hit up and I was like, hey, can I please create content for you guys for free? Um, I think this would be beneficial for both of us uh, and go about it kind of like in a professional manner and it, it works. I've shot so many shows over the years. Here's a couple of the tour passes that I've kept. Yes, I've kept them all. Um, I've shot everyone from like Logic, we have Hoodie Allen, we have Super Duper Kyle, we have g -Z, we have Magic Jordan, Bryson Tiller, the list kind of goes on and on as far as the different artists that I've had the opportunity to shoot out the Roseland from just telling them, yo, I wanna shoot content for you guys for free. One way you could get in contact with the with the venue is kind of going on their website or going on their social media. You could DM them on social media or you could even find their email on their website and just kind of contact them and let them know that you wanna shoot some stuff. Um, and usually that would work out, at least in the past it worked out great for me and I've seen so many other friends work out in the, that exact same way. So that is tip number one. Tip number two is kind of expanding on tip number one. This one's more uh, reaching out to local publications or magazines that you know are in your area and, and hit them up and be like, hey, I would love to shoot any of the music stuff you guys need shot for your publication or magazine. So many, there's so many small magazines in the Portland area that I know all my friends shoot for. Um, and that's how they go about getting concert passes. Even from their schools, they're, they're, they'll reach out to their, their school and be like, hey, my school has this magazine. They want to talk about the concert. How do I get a photo pass? They approach the venue and then they kind of get a photo pass through there. Um, and I think that's an incredibly look past way on getting a photo pass is kind of like local publications and local magazines that that need people to shoot for them and don't really have the budgets but are looking for people that just want to get their foot in the door and shooting in the photo pit that's really what this is is getting your foot in the door you're, you're not gonna like get on a tour instantly because you're shooting in the photo pit but it is gonna allow you to have this experience and it's gonna have it's gonna give you the opportunity to network um, for me when I was in the photo pit I was always tried to like talk to the local crew or talk to the local uh, performing crew or, or just people at the venue that are working there 
um, and trying to just see who I could talk to to try to get my way in without being too like Weasley, you know, you don't want to like force your way in anything, but a lot of the times it can definitely help to just be in there, in the pit, talking to people. Um, and I think a local publication or a local magazine is a great way to get one of your first photo passes. It is so hot outside right now, I'm sweating. All right, you guys, tip number three is gonna be DMing artist managers, label reps, or promoters. Um, these three people are kind of your keys to getting a photo pass, and there's a lot of ways you can find these people, honestly. You can uh, look up on social media. One of the biggest things I would do, but I would, I would go to an artist that I wanna shoot. I would go to their social media pages, and I would literally scroll through the people they were following and try to find one person that might be involved in the management side of things or the label side of things, um, and I'd reach out to those people directly. This worked for me in a lot of cases with Interscope Records. I got in contact with their social media coordinator. Um, it helped me get in contact with a lot of management for a lot of bands that I have shot in the past. It really is like an underlooked way of doing things. And I guarantee you people have figured this one out a little bit, especially now 2020, a lot of people are using social media and able to get to these positions. But I think if you guys can kind of find your way into like the right people or, or, or approach it the right way, uh, this is definitely still a huge way that you guys can get in contact. It's literally right there. Like the people are there. You just have to look for them. If I were you and you really wanted to shoot someone specifically, I would spend all day going through every single person someone follows, whatever artist it may be, the weekend, go through and see every single person that that person follows and then DM them and be like, hey, is there any way you know someone that I could get a photo pass for this show? I can promise you it's probably not always gonna work like 100% of the times, but it is going to work. There is gonna be some opportunity there just by going and DMing people um, and make sure you're doing it appropriately you guys people don't want to just be like yo let me see, let me shoot your show uh, people want to see you approach them with a professional way like approach them with your website approach them with hey I'm looking to create content for you Let, let's collaborate in some way um, and the more professional the better in my opinion all right tip number four this one is definitely look past especially right now find emails on LinkedIn this sounds crazy I know and I know a lot of you watching this video are probably like what even is LinkedIn? Like it's like for old people, it's like Facebook for business. Um, and that is what it is. You get a LinkedIn profile and you set it up and you start adding people and connecting with people and networking with people on LinkedIn. Your network grows so fast, you guys. It's I am just recently finding out about LinkedIn and how powerful it really is. And I'm gonna definitely be using it more and more because you can literally type in things like A&R for Interscope Records and people will pop up and you will be able to reach out to these artists and relations and get in contact and get these emails and, and start networking through that. LinkedIn is vastly, vastly, vastly looked passed upon. Um, and it's something that I think you guys are gonna be able, to, you're gonna go on there and you're gonna find someone that you were trying to get in contact with through Instagram or Twitter or, or email or the internet. And you're just gonna find them in two seconds on LinkedIn because it is, it is, it's insane. It's nuts. I, I even, I haven't even had the opportunity to dive into LinkedIn as much as I want to. Um, but within the past week, I've dove into LinkedIn and I have found more contacts in the past week than I have for the past like three months alone. So I'm telling you, LinkedIn, you guys, it seems like a cheat code, but go in, find, find artist managers, find, find label reps, find people within the music industry and reach out to them and just be like, yo, how can I create some content with you? Would love to shoot a show. Um, and get into the photo pit. And tip number five, this is less of a tip and it's more of a rebellious way of getting your camera into a show is sneak your camera in. And I know that sounds crazy um, because a lot of the times that just doesn't work out. But in the past, I've snuck my camera into shows such as Justin Bieber, Kendrick Lamar, um, multiple shows that have very high class security. I've gotten a backpack that has like a secure compartment below it and I've put my camera in there and gotten in. Um, or you just argue and say, no, I'm allowed to have my camera here and they just kind of at a certain point are like, whatever. This is the only one that I'm kind of like, don't be a dick about it, but kind of like force your way in there because this is, this is how I started my career is I, I snuck my camera into a Mac Miller show, fought my way to the front row, uh, took a bunch of photos. The the rep for the show came up to me during the show and was like, yo, you can't be shooting photos. And I told him, yo, I'll, I'll, I'll stop shooting if you hire me for your next shows. And uh, he hired me for every Portland local show from there on out. And I think that is looked passed upon, just kind of not forcing your way into it, but kind of faking it until you make it is uh, is a saying you hear a lot, but it, it does work. And it, there, there's right ways to do it and there's wrong ways to do it. But it's all about kind of like, finding your your rhythm and your path and kind of like making that your thing. Uh, if you want it bad enough, it's gonna, it's gonna pan out in the long run. So you guys, those are some tips to get your photo pass. Once one of these tips work, you're gonna get a golden ticket, you're gonna get your photo pass, you're gonna be able to go into the photo pit and take photos of your favorite artists. Uh, you're gonna pick up that photo pass the day of the show, you're gonna slap it on your thigh and you're gonna call it good. You're gonna walk in there like a champion and I'm stoked to hear who you guys are gonna be shooting. Comment down below, I wanna know what artist is your dream artist to photograph? What artist have you always wanted to be in the photo pit for? Um, and, and what ways are you kind of doing things to get to that position? I hope this video helps you guys. I know this is a very generic outline 
outline on tips and tricks to get a photo pass, but I think these are really valuable ways that you guys can actually obtain a photo. These are obtainable things. Like this, this is possible. You guys can go and do that, especially when concerts start up again, you're gonna be able to go out there and kind of be the first people diving into these positions, trying to find these photo passes. And with all that, I just wanna say, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers. Uh, we've been kind of growing really quick within the past couple of weeks, which is cool. Um, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to smack that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and then like, comment, and the whole thing down below. I appreciate you guys. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always one, uh, one YouTube comment away. So thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. And I hope these tricks help you guys. I will see you in the next video. Later.